All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna be looking at a little trick, a little top secret modification that maybe the greatest golfer of all time was using in his driver. We're gonna see if we can apply it to modern drivers, see what we get. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm AJ here in the Elite Fit Golf studio and I've got a special guest with us today. Mr. Short Game is here. And today Mr. Short Game is gonna be Mr. Long Game because we're gonna be trying out a little trick that has been around a really long time but a lot of people have no idea what it is or that it existed. And we're gonna see if we can maybe get you some more some more distance. That'd be right? awesome. Yeah, that'd I'd be love good. That. All right. So we're going to do a couple things here. First off, we're going to have Mr. Short game just hit some drivers. We'll get some baseline numbers. Cool. See what we get. Okay. Not bad. Nice. A little draw on that one. Ooh, that one's gonna be hard to beat. Okay, so initial numbers. Uh, 149 ball speed, 15.5 launch angle, 2600 spin, and a carry distance 259, total distance average 279. So it's a pretty good start. About average, yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. So here is the secret. So we got these little weights. You see these? We got 25, got 16, we got, uh, well, this is another 25, but there's also 40. These just go down inside the shaft on the butt end of the club. And this is what Jack Nicholas was doing a long time ago. Not with these. He had a piece of wood that was hollowed out and they poured lead in there. And that's how he counterweighted it. But adding weight to the grip end of the club. Now that's going to make the swing weight much lighter, right? It's going to have a lower swing weight number, but it's going to make the overall club heavier. Now what that ends up doing? Well, it's hard to say because sometimes you'd think, well, you know, extra weight, it's going to slow you down. It's not always the case, though. So we're going to try with a couple different weights. We'll go start off with 25, and then maybe we'll go all the way to 40 or 50, see what happens. Cool. And see what we get. See what kind of distance, see what kind of speed Mr. Short Game can get with a little heavier butt weight. All right, so we just put 25 grams into the butt end of this club. So the overall club is now 25 grams heavier, but the swing weight is six points lighter. So before it was D5, and now it's basically C9. Wow. We'll see what happens. Okay. Wow. Okay. Different feel for sure. Now this, it's interesting, the swing speed, there was 104. It, it felt like I was just doing the smooth version. Straight. Pretty straight. All right, so that was 25 grams. What you, What'd you think, feel-wise, kind of? Feels different. I mean, I feel the weight up here, uh -huh. and I feel like I can get the head moving, like, faster through, through the, the ball. ball. Okay. Well, you definitely picked up, it looks like a little bit of speed, about one mile an hour okay. uh, with that set up. All Ooh. right. So we've gone, this is extreme, yeah. got 40 grams now in the grip end. So that's <laughs> the overall club weight is 40 grams heavier, but the swing weight is 10 points lighter 
than it was when we started out. So this is definitely, I don't know what's going to happen here. But it's got a different sound to it. Yeah, it does. Have For a sure. I, I turned that one over pretty good. Yeah. 302, that one. Wow. It's on the line. <laughs> as straight as I can hit it. Five again, 155 ball speed. Oh, my ball speed's getting up there. A little push. Do you feel like you're no, I don't doing anything different, or feel no. like you have to think of something different when you're swinging in no. that extra? Handle weight? No, they just, and I'm not even really trying to swing faster. I think the club head just get, you know, getting ahead, like getting there quicker. Look nice. Yeah, I got that really good. I kind of like it's. It's weird because the club feels heavy, but it doesn't feel like Whoa. 108. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't feel like it's, it's harder to swing at all. Yeah. But that was definitely the fastest. That was by far the fastest club at speed. Yeah. yeah. So if we look at, yeah, so we've added now 40 grams mm -hmm. of weight, but your average speed has gone up almost three miles an hour over your, our starting point of wow. no weight. Yeah. All right, we're going to try. We're going to go all the way up. I'm oh, just, just going to max it out. Do it. Until something breaks. We're going to go. We got, I think I've got 50. Do I have 50? Oh, yeah. All right. All right. This. 10 more grams? This is 50, 50 grams. There, there are, you know, this is the weight of a squirrel. We're going to stick that in the back. Who knows? 50 grams, swing weight now at C3. So that is now 12 swing weight points lighter than the original. <laughs> 50 grams of extra weight in the handle. Feels like a lot, but. Mm. <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm a, I'm gonna bat next. <laughs> I felt good, to be honest with you. It sounds like a cannon. It does. Off that thing. Nice. You can get to three. Oh. No. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. All right, one oh eight. One oh eight. There we go. Hit the line. <laughs> what left? Dang. Three hundred. One oh six. 300 total. 300 total. 106. Okay, so the numbers, 50 gram grip actually gave us the fastest average for speed, mm -hmm. ball speed, and longest carry, longest total. Again, that's 50 extra grams that you're swinging around. Yeah. But, and again, we've gone up now three miles an hour swing speed. Swing speed. So. There you go. A lot of extra weight. Turns out Jack Nicholas might have known what he was doing. No, he didn't. <laughs> that's, that's a crazy idea, but hey, 
If you enjoyed this video, go down below, like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, do all that stuff. Leave me a comment. I want to say a special thank you. Matt, Mr. Short Game here, hitting tons and tons of drivers. You're going to need an ice bath after all this. But uh, yes. thanks for coming by today. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.